Hello. Today I'd like to talk about an easier way to create podcasts that Notebook LM generates. For those of you who don't know what Notebook LM is, it's a very interesting, very different kind of app that allows you to take a bunch of content and make some sense out of it using AI. That's probably the easiest way to describe it. And it creates things like study guides, briefing docs, FAQs, timeline, like it says over here. You just feed it some information, or you can actually have it find information. They have ability now to find information. You just type in what you're looking for, and it's gonna go ahead and drop it in there, or you can drop your own. And then based on that, there's a bunch of different things you can do. I'm not gonna go into details, just definitely highly recommend you check it out notebooklm.google.com so if you use it then one of the things you can do is you can create an audio overview as they call it right here on the right side so we have this audio overview here and you have an option to share it and you can also download it by selecting the little menu selecting download and so when you download it, it downloads it as a wave file audio wave file and then you can drop it into podcast you can drop it wherever you want basically it's a podcast so in this particular case it generated something that sounds like this let's go ahead and open it up and okay let's unpack this here. picture maria right she runs this cozy little cafe mm -hmm. familiar face walks in and wants to talk about uh maybe a private tasting okay yeah and suddenly maria's head is spinning Phone calls, texts back and forth, maybe a quick DM on Insta, just trying to nail down the details. Right. It gets complicated fast, that everyday friction point. Exactly. It takes time. Things can get, uh -huh. well, yeah. a little messy, you know? Yeah. What seems simple fragments into like juggling five different things. Not efficient. Right. Now, imagine if Maria could just, boom, instantly connect face to face with that customer. One click. Okay. They can chat about the menu. Maybe she shows off some potential dishes right then and there. Yeah. Booking sorted. And the customer didn't need to download a single thing. That's the core idea we're digging into today then. Icon. That's it. Icon. Yeah. Exactly. Icon. So, um, Icon, by the way, is my new app. The easiest way to do one-on-one -on -one video communication. And you can find more information in another video. Or I'll have a link down below. But... As you can see, it creates pretty potent podcast. Two people talking to each other, you know, it sounds great. The problem is that all these podcasts use the same voices. So you basically have exactly the same sounding podcast, even though the information itself is different, as anybody else using the same tool. So when people go online and they listen to it, it clearly sounds like, you know, something Notebook LM generated. And there's nothing inherently wrong with it, but sometimes you want to sound different than everybody else sounds and so i wanted to find an easy solution and one of the ways to do it would be to load it into something like descript see the link below as well which is a great video editing program and they allow you to select different speakers and you know there's different ways that you can regenerate sound for different speakers but it's, the new version is kind of convoluted to be honest i had some luck with creating uh, different speaker voices and then with others, I didn't. And they're definitely adding features, making it more interesting, more complicated. But at the same time, it doesn't quite work yet the way you expect it to. So when I tried to regenerate voices, it would tell me that it failed because it couldn't find sound to go with that's adjacent to this one, apparently, which I don't really know what they even mean. But the bottom line is it didn't quite work. But even with that, it's still a bunch of hassle, a bunch of work. So what I thought I'd come up with an easier way or an easy way to do it, it's not ideal, but it's definitely a workaround. And the way I did this is if you go and uh, pull up a program like Audacity, which is a free audio editing and manipulation app, then you're able to easily drop this WAV file into it like this. Make sure hey, let's works. unpack this picture maria right she runs this cozy yeah so it works right and so then all we have to do is select everything select all control a and then you can go into this effect menu select uh pitch and tempo there's all kinds of options you can select but i select the pitch and tempo and i select the change speed and pitch and when it comes up 
you can go to extremes, which I definitely would not recommend. You can just slide this guy, you know, all the way to the left, and it sounds like this. In fact, you can't even hear it. And if you slide it a little bit to the right, but not quite where it was. Okay, let's unpack this. Obviously, it's unusable like that. It sounds like a monster. If you slide it to the right, you can hear it like this. Okay, let's unpack this. Fish and Maria, right? He runs his cozy little cafe. Mm -hmm. Chipmunks in the house. And obviously, if you slide it all the way, it's going to be totally crazy. Okay, so that's useless. But if you go back to speed multiplier of 1, and basically go back to maybe like 85. That's the one number I used. You can try different numbers, see what you like the best. Then when you click preview, it sounds like this. Okay, let's unpack this. Picture Maria, right? She runs this cozy little cafe. Mm -hmm. Familiar. Okay, so it sounds sounds pretty cool like this. The guy is, you know, much deeper voice, but it's very different from the original guy. And you can try it at 85. You can try it uh, if you want to be a little closer to him. You can go to like 91 or 90. Okay, let's unpack this. Picture Maria, right? She runs this cozy little cafe. Mm -hmm. Even that sounds different than the guy normally does because he sounds like this. Okay, let's unpack this. Picture Maria, right? She runs this cozy little cafe. Mm -hmm. Familiar. This is a little faster than normal, but basically you get the idea. So this way, if you just adjust it just a little bit, like I said, drop it to like maybe, I don't know, 85 or 86, something like that. You get this deeper voice, but it does the job. Okay, let's unpack this. Picture Maria, right? She runs this cozy little cafe. Mm -hmm. Familiar face. Okay, so if we click on apply, it'll apply it to the entire 11-minute uh, podcast. And then if I play it... Okay, let's unpack this. Picture Maria, right? She runs this cozy little cafe. Mm -hmm. Familiar face walks in and wants to talk about uh, maybe your private tasting. Okay, yeah. And suddenly, Maria's head is spinning. Phone calls, texts back and forth, maybe a quick DM on Insta. Just trying to nail down the details. Right. It gets complicated fast, that everyday friction point. Exactly. It takes time. Things can get, uh -huh. well, yeah. a little messy, you know? Yeah. What seems simple fragments into, like, juggling five different things. Not efficient. Right. Now, imagine if Maria could just, boom, instantly connect face-to-face -face with that customer. One click. Okay. They could chat about the menu. Maybe she shows off some potential dishes right then and there. Yeah. Booking sorted. And the customer didn't need to download a single thing. That's the core idea we're digging into today then. Icon. That's it. Icon. Yeah. It's designed to make those really vital customer chats feel, well, as easy as talking in person. Simple. And for small businesses, looking bigger picture, it's not just saving minutes, is it? It's about... Um, strengthening those personal connections. So as you can hear, it's really, really nice the way they set it up. It sounds very professional. At the same time, it sounds very, um, very well done. Like a pro two professional people discussing things, the particular topic of your interest in a podcast. And so it's a great tool. Like I said, Notebook LM is an exceptional tool. Just because of this one feature alone, it's an exceptional tool. But if you wanted to change the voices so they don't all sound the same, and you can do this little change like this, very easy. You can download Audacity. I'm going to have the link down below as well. And they have basically a free version, a paid version. All of this stuff you're seeing me do is done in the free version. And you can just change the voices just a tiny bit like this using this program. And then you can publish it so it doesn't sound like everybody else. I hope you find this helpful. And if you have any questions, please drop them down below. Until next time, I'm Oleg. Thank you.